How can God love me? What is my purpose? What happens after death? Why do bad things keep happening to me? Who is God? Hi, everyone, and welcome to this week's edition of Ask GHCC, where we field questions coming in from all of you, either about biblical issues or real-life situations, and we try to find God's answers. This week's question really strikes at the heart of what a definition of marriage is and what immorality or morality is all about. The question was this. The person said, my question is, what does God say about living with someone and premarital sex, even after you've been divorced? I was in a relationship with a man I loved, and we were cohabiting with marriage plans. First of all, it's important to understand that a marriage is a union created by God. He defined it in the book of Genesis as one man, one woman for life. That was his design. So by definition, a homosexual marriage, so to speak, can never really be a marriage because God designs it. It's for a man and a woman. So two men, so women, two two women could never have that. So with that design in mind, God intended that within the marriage context of a man and woman, united by him in marriage, the sexual union would be expressed. All other sex outside of marriage is, by God's definition, immoral. It strikes at the heart of what sex was designed to do, which was to be a physical intimacy, which was a picture of Christ's relationship with the church, and also, if God blesses, to produce more human beings who will populate the earth for him. So, when a person is divorced and they enter into a premarital relationship with someone, it is, still, it is still sin. In fact, if a person is single and they do that, it's called fornication. If a person's married or commits that sexual sin with another married person, that's called adultery, and both of those are condemned. So, cohabiting with someone even if you're intending to marry them, or even if you are in love with them, is still sin because it's not a marriage until God sanctions it under his design. And so if a person finds themselves engaged in premarital sex or adulterous sex of any kind, they need to confess that to God, they need to get that living situation right, and in so doing, they can call upon the loving mercy and forgiveness of God who can bring healing, which will not only be best for the people involved, but also for any relationship or marriage they may have in the future. How can God love me? What is my purpose? What happens after death? Why do bad things keep happening to me? Who is God?